Hello, sad woman. We're here to adopt a child. You're Connie and Sterling Gold. You're famous TV stars. Of course we are. Here's an autograph. Look, we're very busy people. Can we adopt the smartest, nicest child you have? Of course. Brayden, get over here. Yes, Miss Pickles? These two rich and famous people want to adopt you. Really? I never thought I'd be adopted. Thank you. Now come along. We have to go home now. Goodbye, Brayden. Enjoy your new famous life. Ah, look, there they are, the golds. Oh, no, the paparazzi. Hurry, get in the car. Why the rush? We have to get home before the story gets out. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I'm getting the picture whether you like it or not. They're following us. Hold on, I'll lose them here. Ah, what the heck, you loser? Here we are. We're finally home. I'm glad we lost that paparazzi. They're so annoying. This is so beautiful. I never thought I'd live in a house like this. You think I might cry? Save it for the camera, sweetie. What? Here you go, honey. Welcome home, Brayden. Uh, what is all of this? This is our camera crew. We're reality TV stars. Just pretend they're not here and act natural. Okay, guys, that was terrible. Let's take it from the top. You've got it, Dallas. Come on, Brayden. Let's do this over again. And act natural, okay? Uh, okay. Action! Here you go, honey. Welcome home, Brayden. Whoa, this place is beautiful. Yes, it is. Welcome to our family. And cut! Haha, <laughs> much better this time. This is gonna be an incredible storyline. This all feels kind of strange, honestly. Well, you'll get over it. Now go upstairs and change out of those terrible clothes. We're throwing you a welcome home party. The party starts in an hour. Yeah. Wow. It was nice for my new family to give me all these clothes. I still can't believe I get to live here. Brayden, are you ready? I, I think so. Uh, how do I look? You look like you finally belong in this family. Now, come on. We've got a party to film, and there's someone we want you to meet. Brayden, honey, this is your new sister, Samantha. Oh, wow. You didn't tell me I had a sister. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Of course it is. Now, let's take a selfie from my Insta. Wow. You really don't know how to take a good selfie, do you? Uh, what? Whatever. I I can teach you. It's like what I do. Well, now, Brayden, go and mingle with these celebrities and make sure the camera captures everything, okay? <laughs> Have fun. Um, oh, this is weird. I don't know any of these people. Why are they staring at me? Um, is it hot in here? Am I like sweating? Oh, oh, I need to get out of here. Uh, oh, oh, this is better. Oh, this is too much for me. I need to get out of here. Hey, Nick, Kevin! Where'd you go, Brayden? And what are you wearing? I, I was adopted by a famous family, Connie and Sterling Gold. No way! I've seen their reality show, that's crazy! Samantha Gold is your sister? <laughs> She's super hot! Can I ask her out? No way, I, I barely know her. Anyways, I'm really, really happy for you. Thanks, I, I did always want a family, but... I'm not really sure if this is going to work out. Brayden Gold! What do you think you're doing running away from home? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Dad. I just need some fresh air. Don't be sorry. That was great TV. Everyone at the party was looking for you. There was drama, intrigue. It was incredible! Now let's go home. We've got more filming to do. Actually, can I hang out with my friends instead? These are your friends? <laughs> yeah, no, not anymore. We're going to get you new famous friends. Now get in the car. I'm sorry, guys. I'll text you all later. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. I hope you slept well. That was the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in. Thank you both. I also want to apologize for leaving the party last night. I caught him hanging out with normal kids last night, Connie. Oh, no, 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 no. We cannot have that. Why? Because you're going to be a famous reality TV star now. You can't be seen with just normal people. So we enrolled you in a new private school. But I liked my old school. Well, you'll like your new school even more. Ew, is he seriously going to my school now? Yes, he is. And we want you to show him around. <sighs> gonna ruin my reputation? No! I think I can make friends on my own. From the looks of the two people you called friends earlier, the answer to that is no. Now, Samantha, you're gonna be nice to your new brother. Fine. Let's go, loser. This place really is filled with celebrity kids, huh? I think I just saw a YouTuber I follow. It's like, whatever. They're all so basic. I appreciate you helping me out, Samantha. It's nice to know you have my back. Let's just get one thing straight, okay? I liked being an only child. It'll be nice in front of the cameras, but when they're gone, I want nothing to do with you. Uh, that's harsh. Do you even know why my parents adopted you? Because they 
wanted to? No, they didn't want to. They had to. Why? Because this is all a big publicity stunt to fix their image in the press as good parents. So they didn't really want to adopt me? <laughs> of course not. You're going to be rich and famous now. Isn't that what everyone wants anyways? What's up, babe? Who's this loser? This is my new brother. Just ignore him. Uh, who is this? I'm Max. The Max, the TikTok star. Duh. And he's my boyfriend. This guy's lame. Come on, babe. Let's leave this loser. Gladly. What are we doing here? It's family game night, obviously. Your mother's busy doing a photo shoot, but I figured this would be fun. I, I love mini golf. Of course you would. Samantha, enough of this attitude, okay? We might have fans here, and we don't want them to see us fighting. Whatever. All right, Brayden, you go up first. All right, here goes a hole in one. Ah! Ah! Wow, the gold family's bringing the new kid out in public, and he sucks at mini golf. I don't suck. Your camera flash messed me up. Nah, you just trash. This is enough. Come on, kids, let's go. But we barely started playing. Yeah, but we got our pictures taken, and that's all that matters. Now we can leave. So much for bonding. It seems like your public image is getting better, but it's still pretty bad. But adopting Brayden has been great for your image and the show! Then that is good news! Oh, hi, honey. Uh, hey, Mom, Dad, can we talk real quick? Oh, hold on! Let me get my camera crew! No, 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 I, I want to talk to them in private. Of course you can talk to us. Thank you, Dallas, we'll see you later. Gonna miss some good drama! What's the matter, sweetheart? Samantha told me that you only adopted me to improve your image. And I guess she was right, wasn't she? Well, yes and no. It was going to be a great storyline for our show. Especially after Samantha crashed my Tesla and everyone thought we were bad parents. So you guys didn't even want to adopt me? Oh, honey, of of course we did. We wanted to give a nice, smart, and kind child a better chance at life and have a loving home. Plus, we thought you could be a good influence on Samantha. I just always wanted a family that loved me. My parents abandoned me when I was just a baby, and I've always felt so alone. Well, you're not alone anymore. You have us. And our millions and millions of fans. <laughs> now, why don't I take you to the mall? I think we need a nice shopping spree. Uh, sure. Oh, come on. Ah, yes, I did it. Can you, like, just stop being so annoying? I'm just playing video games. Do you want to play with me? Ew, no thanks. Kids, it's time for a family meeting. Family meeting? This is where we talk about our next big publicity stunt. And this is going to be huge. <sighs> Oh, great. What do you want to do this time? Well, I talked it over with Dallas, and you're going to get arrested, Samantha. What? What the heck? Why? That seems kind of extreme, don't you think? We need something extreme to boost our ratings. But I don't want to get arrested. That's going to ruin my image. Well, dear, the car crash last year kind of did that already didn't it? Why doesn't Brayden get arrested? He stinks and he's adopted. That makes way more sense to me. The decision's already been made. You are going to get arrested tomorrow after lunch. You can't be serious. Oh, but we are. This is going to be such good publicity. This sucks. Now everyone's going to hate me even more than they already do. <sighs> Samantha, I'm so sorry. Shut up. Don't act like you care. The cameras aren't even here. So here's how the stunt is gonna go. Samantha, you're gonna get in that car, and then the police officer is gonna arrest you for stealing. But she hasn't stolen anything, have you? Of course not. I'm rich. I don't need to steal. Shut up, kid. It's just a storyline. All you're gonna do is cry and look sorry for your sister. Got it? Now, let's get into our places, people! My life is totally over after this. This isn't right, Samantha. Why are you even doing this? <sighs> part of being in this famous family. You wouldn't understand. Well, I'm sick of this. I'm not gonna let you take the blame for something you didn't do. Oh, yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? Watch this. And action! Cue the cop! Hey, ugly! Get out of the car, punk! Yeah, you're under arrest for stealing! Shut up, loser! I'm not going to jail! <gasps> Yeah, you are. You're going to jail for real now, idiot. Come on. And cut. 
What has gotten into you? How could you have ruined this stunt for us? Do you have any idea what you've done, Brayden? I couldn't let Samantha take the blame and be a victim of a stupid publicity stunt. Stupid stunt? I came up with the idea. And it was going to put us back in the spotlight. And now I don't even know what's going to happen. Actually, this might just work out. What do you mean, Dallas? Talk to me. It's all over the internet now. Adopted child of the famous gold family is a a secret thief and criminal. This storyline might actually be better than Samantha's. Son, I apologize. Looks like this is gonna work out after all. I was just arrested, and now people are going to think I'm a criminal? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It'll all blow over in like a week or so. Now, let's see if we can turn this into an even bigger storyline. Maybe he stole a diamond or the crown. I just hope this was worth it. I don't accept criminals and thieves into this school. Is that clear? Yes, Principal Salt. You've got detention for a month. Yeah, got it. Good. Now get out of my office. I hate your face and you're late for class. Look, babe, it's your dumb, ugly criminal brother. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you too, Max. Can you get my purse out of my locker? Yeah, sure thing, babe. So, did you get in a lot of trouble? For a freight crime I didn't commit? Yeah, I did. Why would you do that? Are you stupid? No, I didn't want to see you get in trouble again. I'm your brother now. It's my job to have your back. Wow, I'm really surprised. I feel like I should say something. Maybe a thank you? Mm, no, that's not right. I don't know. I'll see you later. Hi, guys. Can I hang with y'all? We don't hang out with criminals. Come on, dude. You know me. That's not what I read online. Do you seriously believe everything you read online? <laughs> of course I do. I don't want to be around this loser. Okay, I understand. Actually, Kevin, why don't you go away? You're being super annoying. Whatever. Hang out with a criminal. See if I care. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, don't worry, man. I know who you really are. All that stuff was fake, wasn't it? Yeah. Sadly, most people just think I'm a criminal now. So if you really didn't do it, then what happened anyways? I wanted to help Samantha out. She was the one that was supposed to get arrested, not me. You're a good brother for doing that. Are you liking being all rich and famous now? Kind of. It's still kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. But maybe you can do something cool now that you're rich and stuff. You know what? I think I will. Where on earth have you been, young man? I was just hanging out with my friends. Oh, yeah? And I bet you were probably stealing things and damaging people's property, weren't you? Uh, no. What is this? It's a family fight. Just roll with it. No, 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 no. I am so sick of this. Well, I'm sick of your criminal ways. If I catch you stealing again, I'll send you back to the orphanage. Or worse, I'll call the police on you and get you arrested. What? Are you being serious? So you better watch out and start behaving, or else. This sucks, I'm out of here. Hey, wait, Brayden, hold on, hold on, don't go. What the heck was that, Dad? It was just a fake fight to stir up some drama. Our audience loves things like that. Well, I don't love my dad screaming at me for something he knows I didn't do. I know, I know, okay, and I'm sorry, but we have to do this to stay famous. What if I don't want to be famous? What if I just want a family that loves me and supports me? You do, you have us. You have a funny way of showing it. Brayden, wait, stop, come back. We have to film another scene in 10 minutes. I felt alone at the orphanage and I wanted a family. Now I have one and I still feel alone. This reality show, it's so fake. It's keeping us from being a real family. I wish I wasn't famous. Hey, uh, can I get a hot chocolate, please? Wait, you're braided gold. Oh, yeah, that's me. I'm a huge fan, dude. I didn't know you were an orphan. Seeing you get adopted by that super rich, famous family, it gave me hope that I might be adopted someday, too. And even if you don't get adopted, you can still make your own family with the people you love. Thanks for that. The hot chocolate's on the house. Here you go. Really? Thank you so much. Of course. Come back anytime. Hold on. That's Max. And who is that? <laughs> you're so funny, babe. And so hot. Let's go to the movies. Yeah, cute. I love movies. Yeah. Can we talk? I would rather talk to a wall. <sighs> Sorry, I saw something tonight and I figured you might want to know about it. And why would I? Because I saw Max with some random girl at the coffee shop tonight. Um, no you didn't. Then what is this? Oh my gosh, that's Heather. That's my 
best friend. Well, they're definitely on a date. I think he's cheating on you. Do you like ruining my life? What? I'm trying to look out for you. Well, don't. The story can't get out or it will ruin everything. Delete the picture now. So you would rather let your boyfriend cheat on you than know the truth? Just get out of my room. You're the worst. Whoa, that was sick. Dude, you still got it. I've been so wrapped up with filming my family's reality show, I haven't had much time to do things I actually like. What about Samantha? There's nothing I can do. I told her the truth. It's up to her to do the rest. I just can't stand that people don't know the truth about what's really happening. It's gonna come out eventually. It just needs to take some time. Come on, dude, let's get out of here. I gotta go home before my mom grounds me again. Hey, Nick, wait. I was thinking, uh, could you come to my birthday party tomorrow? Yeah, of course, but... Raiding gold! How many cars have you stolen today, huh? Oh, great. Not this again. Leave him alone, dude. Whatever, I can do whatever I want. Everyone knows Brayden's a thief and a criminal. That's a lie. He's not a thief. Wait, what? That was all fake. Everything was staged for the Gold's reality show. Nick, stop! I'm not gonna let this guy trash talk my best friend. Ho, 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 ho! Everyone needs to hear about this! Oh, no. No, I have a bad feeling about this. Emergency family meeting! No! Is everything okay? Uh, whoa, uh, why do y'all look so upset? Your stupid poor friend tried to expose us! It's all over the news that we're fake, and so is our show! Well, the show is fake. Shut up! Nick was just sticking up for me, that's all. I was being harassed by the paparazzi again. You know what, I don't really care. I told you not to hang out with your loser friends, and you did it anyways! And now, we can all be in serious trouble because of this! You're grounded! Like, for real? Is this all for the cameras? No, this is serious, and we are really hurt by you, Brayden. I'm sorry. It's too late for apologies now. You're not allowed to hang out with this Nick character ever again. But my birthday party is tomorrow. I invited him. Well, you should have thought of that before you let him ruin our careers. Go to your room. I can't even look at you. Even though you're grounded and we're furious at you, we still had to throw you a birthday party. Oh my gosh, what is all of this? Surprise, Brayden! Happy birthday, Brayden! All of this is for me? Of course! It's your 18th birthday! You only turn 18 once. We figured we would do something nice for you. This is kind of overkill, especially after what you said last night. Shh! The cameras are rolling. Just play along. Oh, okay. Oh, these cars are sick. Do I get to pick one? Pick one? What are you talking about? They're all yours. No way. And you can play video games on the big screen all you want. <laughs> wow, this is pretty sick. Hey, happy birthday, man. Hold on, cut, cut. What on earth is this loser doing here? He's my best friend, dad. Uh, should I go? Yes, you should. You're not allowed to be friends with Brayden anymore. Okay. This isn't fair. It's my birthday, and I want to spend it with my friend. We're filming this for our family reality show. Now pull yourself together and let's finish the scene. Okay, guys, we can start rolling again. Raiden, I hope you have the best birthday ever, son. I love you. Yeah, Dad, thanks. Hey, Mom, can I talk to you? Of course, honey. Should I get Dallas in the cameras? No, please don't. I, I just want to talk to you. What's wrong? I really love you guys, and I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I don't want to be a part of this TV show anymore. Why not? I thought you were having fun. I was at first, but after what happened today with Nick, I don't think I could do this anymore. I'm sorry, but we're your family, and this is a family reality show. What will your fans think if you quit? I don't know, but I don't want to lie and be fake for the cameras anymore. I want to be real. I just want to be myself. If you really want to be real for the cameras, you can. I'll support you in this choice. Thanks, Mom. Does this mean I can be friends with Nick again? I'll talk to your father in Dallas. He did try to ruin our show, but maybe I can convince them. Thanks. It would mean a lot to me. But first things first, we're going to need to find a new storyline for you on our show. I'll think of something. Who cares what you think? I have a new storyline, Mom. But I want it to be a surprise. Just be ready, okay? Let me guess. This one's gonna be fake too? Shut up, you're stupid. Soon I'll be more famous than Chet Blenderson. Hey, that's Samantha. What is she doing? It's like she's filming. Hey, babe, there's like something I need to tell you. Yeah, Max, what is it? I want you to like be my wife and basically marry me. <gasps> Oh my gosh, like, duh, a million times duh. 
Oh, sweet. Samantha, you can't be serious. I love Max Brayden. I'm going to marry him. Why? He's cheating on you. What? No, idiot. I'd never do that. Shut up, dude. I saw you. You're just jealous because no one loves you and Max loves me. Yeah, and I hate you. Huh? Oh! Uh, ah! Hey, ah! Uh, put me down! Oh my gosh! You splashed water on my outfit! Oh, sorry, babe. You know what? Dallas, cut this. Let's do it again tomorrow. Are you kidding? That was incredible! I'm gonna keep it for the drama! Samantha, I don't support this at all. You can't marry him! Shut up. You're gonna regret this, loser. Brayden, we need to talk to you. Uh, let me guess. It's because I ruined Samantha's proposal. Yes, you did. And our audience loved it. Well, Samantha is very upset with you, and that is not okay. Well, yeah, but we can't let her marry that guy. But the ratings for our show are through the roof now, and the wedding special is already booked, and it's all because of you. Your genuine reaction is doing great on the show. The audience loves how real you are. Well, maybe the family should start doing more things on the show that are real, genuine things. We need to stop acting so scripted and fake. Huh, I never thought of that. Might actually be a good idea. But where do we start? We've been doing this for so long, I forget what being real is about. Well, uh, how about donating some of the profits from our show to help orphans? I love that idea. I'll talk it over with Dallas. Thanks, Brayden. You might have just saved our show after all. Uh, Samantha has been avoiding me for days. I need to apologize to her. You need to stop dating Max. I know you two are together. Who even is Max? You know who he is. He's my boyfriend, and you were supposed to be my friend. I'm only your friend because you're pretty, you're rich, and I'm getting famous because we're friends. We are no longer friends in real life, Heather, and I'm writing you off of the show. Samantha. Are you okay? No, I'm not. My storyline is being ruined, and it's all because of you. I just wanted you to be genuine. Stop all this fake drama. That's what I've done my whole life. You just got to this family, and this is how it is. It doesn't have to be. Look what it's doing to you. Don't marry Max. I have to. It's for the show and my fans. I have to stay famous. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. But I have fans now because I'm honest. Let me help you. I don't need your help. Hey, hold on a second. Isn't this the orphanage you grew up in? Yeah, it is. Welcome to Sunshine Orphanage. How can I... Wait a second. Brayden? Hi, Miss Pickles. What are you doing back here? I just saw you on TV. My mom and dad are donating their money to the orphans for charity. So here, it's $5 million. Oh my gosh. I can buy all the kids new clothes and food. This is a lifesaver, Brayden. No problem. I hope you have a good day. I will now. Thank you so much. Whoa, that was so cool. You look happy again. You know what? I am happy. I'm doing something good, and there are no cameras to be found. I bet Samantha would think you're crazy for telling them not to film this. I mean, she's obsessed with fame. Yeah, I, I guess so. I tried to help her with everything, but she refused. Maybe you should just help her anyways. Do something on your own. I mean, she's your sister after all. You can't let her do this. Just tell the truth. You know what? You're right. Samantha, sweetheart, come in here. What? I'm busy getting a sponsor for my wedding. Your brother is about to be on Diane's talk show. This is huge. Hello, and welcome to the Diane Show. I'm Diane, where we talk about famous celebrities and the scandals they bring us. I'm here with Brandon Gold, adopted son of the Gold family and former criminal. Now, you have been filmed saying that Max is cheating on your sister. <gasps> is this true? Yeah, I have to be honest with you and the fans. It's true. I know he is. Oh, gosh. But your sister and Max look so happy on the show. Yeah, well, I know my sister isn't happy. She's acting for the cameras. It sounds like you think your sister is fake and stupid. Wait, hold up. I didn't say that. Oh, sorry. We're out of time. Tune in next week where I harass celebrities to let me take more selfies with them. Bye-bye. I can't believe he would say that about me. Oh, dear. This is going to cause quite a stir. 
Maybe it's time we talk to Brayden about being more careful with his words. Oh, man, that interview sucked. And Lee totally twisted my words. Oh, no. <laughs> How could you do this, Brayden? You saw the interview? You are such a jerk. You said I was a fake and stupid? No, I didn't say that. I wanted to say this whole wedding thing is fake and stupid. This is my storyline, and you can't ruin this for me. This isn't about a stupid storyline. This is our family. You're not family. You're not even my real brother. Samantha, that is harsh. I don't care. I want him gone. I want him kicked out of this house and out of this family. Brayden is your brother, and he's right. And I don't want you to marry Max either. He's a total loser. Now he's turning you against me too? I hate this family. So I bet you saw Brayden's interview. Yeah, some of it. But I threw my TV out the window because I was so mad. You're not cheating on me, right? Uh, of course not, babe. That's dumb. I would never cheat on you. Like, ever. It's just a lot, Max. My whole family doesn't want us to get married tomorrow. I don't know what to do. I do. Where's your brother? I don't know. Why? Let me go find him. I'll be right back. Uh, what is he doing? How should I know? Go follow him and film it. Yo, loser! You got a problem with me marrying your sister? Uh, yeah, we all do. Well, I got a problem with your face! Ha! Uh. Ugh. Oh. oh, where am I? Oh, thank goodness! You're in the hospital, honey. We're happy you're awake. Ha! Huh. Not very tough, are you, kid? Yeah, I can feel that. Oh, God, my head is killing me. Well, this is certainly gonna make for some good TV. Sterling, our son was just attacked by that terrible man! I know, huh? And I'm sorry, Brayden. All of this has really shown us how out of hand things are getting with the show. The ratings are through the roof now. You showed us that being ourselves actually works. Ugh, I never wanted to be on TV or be famous. All I wanted was a family. We know, and we want to be your family. Yeah, and I want you as my family too. But Samantha doesn't. Well, she doesn't have a choice. She's stuck with all of us. I can't believe she's still going to marry Max after all of this. She is? Yes, of course she is. She's determined to marry Max for the show. But she said she wanted to talk to you when you got home. Huh, really? Okay. Uh, hey. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm better now. Mom and Dad said you wanted to see me? Yeah, um, I wanted to say, I'm sorry that Max punched you in the face. Wow, thanks. Whatever, I'm just trying to be nice. Oh, I'm still getting married tomorrow, and I need you there. Uh, I'm sorry, Samantha, but no. Listen, I love you. I just want you to be happy, but I'm not going to that wedding. I might get punched again. I don't want to ruin your day. Oh my gosh, well just come to the wedding. I need you there. I have something planned, and it's going to be the best reality TV ever. You'll see. Babe, you look totally hot right now. I know. <sighs> I hope she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. She's a gold, after all. If anyone thinks these two should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, I have something to say. Oh man, this is gonna be good! I know you've been cheating on me with Heather. What? Uh, uh babe, wait, I- No, Max, I know the truth, thanks to Brayden. And I'm sorry for being so mean to you, Brayden. I mean, you really are like the best brother ever. You taught me how important being honest is. So Max, it's totally over. You're a loser with bad breath. Now leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be iconic. 